Thanks for Super Dave, the foodie trucker. I love these YouTuber intros. And my homeboy told me, his nephew said, dude, the best fried chicken is Gus's famous fried chicken. And he said the best. I'm like, That's a bold statement, man. With my mug on me. Oh, did he? Oh. So, let's go find out. You know what I mean? Oh no. Okay, man, it's a rumor on the street, and the rumor is that Gus has the best fried chicken ever. So, I had to come find out for myself, and here we are. Gus's famous fried chicken. And check this out, man. What you never see at a fried chicken place is fried green tomatoes. And I ain't had fried green tomatoes forever. Look at this bad rascal. Ooh, look how puffy it is. It's tart. It's crunchy. Mm. It's been so long since I had fried green tomatoes. I don't remember if you put ranch on or not, but they serve it with ranch, so hey. But what it does need is a little hypertension for you, Henry. So, let's go in. <laughs> mm. Man, when you bite into it, it just melts in your mouth, man. <gasps> That's what she said? Leave me a comment below if you ever had a fried green tomato, because there's nothing like a tomato. It's like a mild pickle. What's up for you? French fries? Huh? <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Wow. Let's go in. <laughs> wow, that is outstanding, man. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That'll put the fire out. What I'm excited about is fried okra, baby. Ooh. These are like little nuggets of gold, baby. Look at that. Mm. The hard crunchy on the outside, creamy in the middle. If that reminds you of the South, man, nothing will. I'm gonna tell you right now, baby. If this fried okra has an indication on how this fried chicken is gonna be, it's gonna be a good day. Hear me? Gotta say it was a good day. Okay, let's go in. Gus's famous fried chicken. Look at that. And it doesn't have a lot of breading on it, man. It, it looks kind of like Colonel's original recipe, hear me? It doesn't have all that big chunks of batter hanging off of it, so. Let's go in. Gus, famous, fried, chicken, hear me? Okay, here's the deal. Gus is famous fried chicken, man. What they do is they fry their chicken in peanut oil, and all the batter is spicy. It's spicy. It's crunchy. That pepper's already starting to kick in a little bit. The science is starting to get water. Okay, so here's the deal. Fried chicken that doesn't have a lot of batter on it. This is dynamite. Meat. This is beautiful fried chicken. Look, look it up. Mm. Nice. Like I said, man, it's a different type of fried chicken. It's not like your normal fried chicken. But I like this better. There's not a lot of batter. Look. Oh, any batter on there. And it's spicy. It's funky, it's juicy. Wow. That is some tender chicken, my friend. Hear me? Mm. It's crazy. I got chills, they're multiplying. When I first been into it, I didn't know what to think. On that leg, but that thigh, man, it's just packed with flavor. The more I eat, the more you want it. And it's got a nice heat level to it. Mm. Whenever I eat fried chicken, I never, ever, ever, never, ever, ever. Get white meat. It's always dry, overcooked. And look at this beast, man. That is a serious breast there, boy. That's what she said. Or he said. All right, let's go. No, 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 no. Oh my God, look how juicy that is. There's juice running down my arm. <laughs> this thing is juicy, baby. Look at that. Ooh. Oh. Mm, mm. Look how juicy that is. <laughs> My God, let me tell you something, man. That chicken breast is dynamite. If you ever come to Gus's Fried Chicken, you gotta get the breast. Mm. And if you haven't, jump your ass in the car and haul it down here. That is delicious, as Tony the Tiger would say. They're great. Great, mm. All right, let's go on for this mac and cheese. Look at this, baby. Look at this cheesy. Look at that. One mac and cheese. Let's go in. Mmm, 
That is creamy, cheesy. What? A lot of places to go to, man. The mac and cheese is dry. <laughs> this is the opposite, baby. That is creamy, cheesy, and beautiful. Mm. And here's another thing I love about Gus's. You never see greens. Look at them collards, baby. Look at them greens, baby. Oh, oh, collard greens. And I love me some greens. When you eat your greens, this is what you gotta do, always. You gotta put on some hot pepper, vinegar. Check it out. And you can't be showered this stuff, man. You gotta put it on, man. You gotta drown it in that vinegar. And I'm a vinegar freak as it is. Cause I'm a freak. <laughs> Look at that steam coming off there, baby. <laughs> Mm, my God, oh. It's bitter, it's tart. That vinegar hits you right in the glands. That vinegar is like a spinning heel cake in the mouth. That'll wake you up. Mm. All right, let's go in for the coleslaw. Now, you know, I always said Kentucky Fried Chicken had the best coleslaw until Cobras beat it. This yeah, is yeah, the best yeah, coleslaw yeah. I've ever had. <laughs> let's see what Gus has got to offer. Ooh, that's a good one. Mm. Wow, it's crunchy, it's creamy, because it's a little sweet, it's a little on the sweet side, but in a good way. Mm. I'm not saying it's the best, but it's definitely at the top of the list. It's cold, it's refreshing, beautiful. Okay, check it out, baked beans, baby. Oh, ah, see what you made me do? And I'm a baked bean freak. Why are you, baked beans? The bacon y the sweet, looks like you got a little chunks of pepper in there. No complaints here, hear me? All right, let's go in. Tater salad. It's a mustard base, tater salad. Still has the skin on the taters, which I like. I can guarantee you, it's gonna need salt. A little salt for you. Bruce Lee has nunchucks. I got forks. Now being a mustard based potato salad on the sweet side, usually mustard based potato salad is tart, tangy, if you will. Mm. Potato salad. But on the sweet side, you hear me? Leave me a comment below if you've ever been to Gus's Fried Chicken. Let me know on a one to 10 scale what you think Gus's Fried Chicken is, you hear me? So I'm gonna knock all this out, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna grab some pies and I'll be right back, you hear me? Later that same evening. Okay, man. I got the top three, top three seller of pies, and this one is called a chocolate chess. Let's check it out. You know I am about pies. I don't use forks. Look at this, chocolate <laughs> chess pie. Let's go in. Hear me? Oh my God, that is beautiful. It's like a creamy brownie. Leave me a comment below if you know what chess means, because they don't hear. Hear me? Oh my god. Alright, here's the deal. It's got a crust, like a brownie crust on top of it. But inside it is creamy. Wow. That, my friend, is a fabulous pie. It's like a, a creamy brownie. Mm. Beautiful. This one, this, the coconut cream. Hi. Looky, looky. Also, it's got a crust on top of it. And it looks like it's packed full of toasted coconut. It's a good thing. I love me some toasted coconut. Hear me? One. Coconut cream pie. Meringue. Wait a minute. There is no such word as that. Okay, here's the deal. It's not crazy sweet. It's packed full of coconut. Custardy. 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 Not custardy. Custard. The pie, it's okay. I love the toasted coconut in there, but maybe after eating that chocolate chess, because that's so sweet, maybe that's overwhelming this. Let's go in with the, at the top of my list, pecan pie. Yeah. All their pies cooked to perfection, man. They get that crust on top, which has got a little chew to it. And look at this thing, boy. It is heavy. Lift them up slowly to your shoulders and down again. Son of a mother, that is outstanding. That is delicious. <laughs> All right, here's the deal, man. I am a pecan pie freak. 
I'm gonna tell you right now, find a good one. You think it'd be easy, but it's not. <laughs> and this baba is one fantastic pecan pie. That's right, pecan, not pecan, pecan. Pecan, of course. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell, you me? Woo! Let me tell you something, man. That fried chicken, man. When I ate that leg, I was like, it was good, it was great. But when I got that breast, that fried chicken breast, man, that white meat, man, and I bit into that thing, and juice was running down my chin and down my arm, man. It was fantastic. You know what? If you don't compare fried chicken, if you compare that chicken breast with it, it's up there. It's right at the tip top, I promise you. And those fried green tomatoes, man. Nobody told you what know it's a tomato, man. It's like a mild fried pickle. Beautiful. And that okra. That okra, it's like, it's better than popcorn, man. I can pop those, I can eat those things all night long. Crunchy, creamy, beautiful, salty, lovely. Hear me? And those collard greens, baby. I love me some collards, baby. And they're hard to find, man. Especially in a fried chicken place. You gotta put that pepper vinegar on there, though. Believe me when I tell you. Hear me? The mac and cheese. It was creamy. It was cheesy. It was good. It was beautiful. It was nice. Most mac and cheese is dry. This one's not, man. It's good and creamy. And that coleslaw. It was good. It was really good. But a little sugary. A little sweet. And then baked beans also followed up with some sweetness. 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 And your sweetness is my weakness. Hear me? Oh! Let's not forget about the dessert, man. That chocolate chest pie. It's got that brownie crust on top and creamy in the middle. It's like the, a creamy brownie, man. That thing was beautiful. Hear me? That toasted coconut cream pie. It was ah, muscle minnows. It was okay. It was good, but I wouldn't get it again. And that pecan pie, man, it was beautiful. It had that crusty top. Those toasted pecans on there. It was creamy, but yet chewy. Hear me? There you have it. Peace. Who loves you? And as always, ciao. Hear me?